Hey everyone, uh, I thought I'd share with you my Max Trax roof basket mounts that I fabricated yesterday on my day off. Um, I've had the Max Trax for a while and last time I went on the trails I just carried them in the back of the trunk, but if, God forbid if I ever needed them and they got all nasty, I sure as hell don't want to put them back in the trunk. I've seen a lot of folks put them uh, on their roof basket or mounted on a, a tire carrier or something and I really like that. I think that's one, extremely practical, uh, and two, it just looks good. So. I was looking around for some mounts so I can do it to my cross trek, and I was surprised at how expensive they were. I mean, there's really nice mounts out there, but there are 100 bucks and more, uh, at least the ones that I found. So I figured, what the heck, uh, I'll take a stab at fabricating some. I had some spare uh, 3 16 inch steel, an uh, inch and a half wide, um, and some time to kill. I figured, worst case scenario, I'm out uh, 20 bucks in steel, and I go buy with a set of mounts anyway. Best case scenario, I spend 20 bucks in steel, maybe a little bit of hardware um, and some time and save a decent buck. So I'll be honest, there wasn't a whole lot of complicated thought or engineering that went into this build. I literally just kind of cut some main plates that acted as a, as a support behind the boards. Um, had a general idea for the clamps that I wanted to do. I built the clamps first uh, and then cut the plates behind the tracks second. After I got a mount dialed in the way I liked it, the next challenge was to make another one just like it. Uh, not rocket science, what I did is basically laid out the one that I had on a piece of wood, traced it out, um, referenced the measurements that I had taken, and then literally used my wooden trace as a template upon which to place the pieces um, of a second bracket together and tack it in place as I went. Once it was all tacked in place, did another fitment, checked to make sure everything looked good to go, uh, welded it all up, and that's where I am right now. I did do a preliminary road test, took them around the neighborhood, got upwards of around 50 miles per hour, and um, they're rock steady. I'm super impressed. I mean, I think it's a little over-engineered given that it's 3 16 inch steel. Um, but they handled very well. I'll be doing a road trip here in a few weeks, uh, going up to the Upper Peninsula, uh, highway uh, all the way up there, and then some trail riding, so we'll see how well they handle then. If I need them, it's just a matter of taking off these wing nuts. Granted, the hardware might be a little bit easy to lose, so I'll probably have to travel with some spare hardware. And then you just take them right off. As you can see, the design is pretty simple. It's basically a, a, a C-shaped bracket that goes around the outside of the basket and a plate on the inside to which bolts go through and sandwiches the basket in between. And then there's a couple of standoffs here. And then the main backer board for the uh, Max tracks themselves. This is the back. And for the hardware, I basically used grade 8 5 16 by 18 bolts to go through here. Uh, a couple of bolts just tighten it right up to it. Uh, when I, after I finish it, I'll probably line both the inside of this as well as that C-clamp uh, with some rubber to prevent metal on metal. The standoffs that the Max tracks sit on are also 5 16 by 18 threaded bolts uh, threaded all the way down, and I've got uh, some washers on the inside and a lock washer and another nut to keep the studs in place. And then when you stack the Max Tracks on top of that, there's a larger diameter washer that goes on top, as well as a lock washer and then the wing nut. Mounting the Max Tracks is quite simple. You just line up the bolt holes, set it in, tighten your hardware, and you're ready to go uh, off to the next adventure. I had a couple of people ask me about the placement that I chose. Like, isn't that too low? Isn't it going to interfere with the doors? Why not rise them up higher? Why not put them flat in the roof basket? Uh, everyone has their own thoughts. I'll give you mine as far as why I chose to do it this way. Um, first, why don't, I want to, why don't I just put them flat inside the basket? Well, limited real estate. Um, I want to keep as much basket floor space as I can for the rest of my stuff, you know, coolers, boxes, tents, chairs, and whatnot. Um, I like the look of it being on the side. I think if you, in the design I did, I tried to get it to follow the body line a little bit so that it looks good straight on or from the rear. Um, Height-wise, you know, why not higher? 
Well, I didn't want to go too high. I've seen some designs that have them sticking up kind of high, maybe acting as a secondary wall in the basket. I don't know what the original tent is. But for me, I still want to be able to just climb my basket and reach right inside without having to worry about this thing protruding up and in my way. Um, being low here, it was um, interesting to find the right balance of height. So as you can see, the doors open just fine and had some others say, well, aren't you worried about hitting your head when you get out? I mean, to be honest, I'd have to be doing this and I don't think I've ever gotten in or out of my car in such a weird angle that I would risk hitting my head even on the stud that protrudes here. Getting in and out of the car is normal. Uh, I'm unimpeded. As you can see, you basically get in, get out like normal. Um, I don't even give it a second thought. I don't even know it's there. So I happen to really like this design. Time will tell. Um, I think it's accessible, which is another reason why I wanted it nice and low. I don't need to climb on anything to get them. I can literally stand next to the vehicle, undo the hardware, take them off and use them, put them right back up and uh, stow them away and be on the go. That's the reason I chose to put them where I did. Again, I'm happy with them for now. Uh, maybe after a road trip or two, I'll have wished I designed it differently, but um, time will tell. Well, I hope you liked this little experiment uh, and build of mine. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this, uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, please do so. I'm relatively new to YouTube content creation. I'm just doing it for fun and to give back to the YouTube community a little bit. But so far, I'm averaging about a video every week or so. Um, basically, just been a great way to uh, pass the time while working on the cross track here. So thank you again for watching. And until the next time, have a good one.